Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So, over the past 10 years in this channel, I've posted many videos on how to fix MacBook motherboards, along with a bunch of little how-to instructional guides. And my latest project is something called Repair.Wiki, where rather than you having to watch a video that is one or two hours long, and look through a bunch of one or two hour long videos, you can simply click over to a guide that goes over all of the problems and all the solutions for your particular device. Now we are doing a lot of work to make the interface to this sock glass for both contributors and also people who are reading. That is something that we are in the middle of. And I just wanted to talk about some new guides that got posted. Tim Herman of TCRS Circuit and Jesse Cruz of VCC Board Repairs have been instrumental in contributing a lot to these guides. So you have here one for the 2251 MacBook and you can see it is pages and pages upon pages of amazing troubleshooting information. No backlight on display. He has pretty much a book of troubleshooting steps over here. Jesse Cruz, who has written a lot of the iPhone board repair manuals with pictures and notes and like really detailed stuff on where to even run your jumpers, has written a bunch of other guides here. So we have how to fix an iPad Pro 11th gen that doesn't charge, CD3217 solution, fixing no touch on an iPhone SE 2020, how to fix an iPhone Pro 14 that randomly restarts, how to fix an iPhone 13 that randomly restarts, 12 that randomly restarts. Now, some of the easier issues are when there's a basic short to ground. Some of the easier issues are when you can see corrosion, but some of the more difficult issues to repair is when a customer walks into your shop with a device that you're not really familiar with and says it's randomly rebooting. Random reboots is something that tends to chill up the spine of every technician, and it usually is fixable once somebody who has spent 100 or 200 or 300 hours screwing with that device finally figures it out. And once they've spent two or 300 hours messing with it to figure it out, and they figure it out, then they have a solution that they can apply to everybody. But somebody has to put that level of work in, and the problem is that this makes it not economically viable for a lot of repair shops to do these types of repairs. Because if you're only able to charge $40 or $80 for a repair, even if you're charging $200, that doesn't cover the upfront research to figure out the cause of failure if you are only going to see this problem five times a year max. So one of the things that I've tried to do here with this wiki is make it so that people who do see these devices every day, who are spending two to 300 hours figuring out what the faults are, share it with everybody so that once they figure it out, it's available to all. And in exchange for them providing information, somebody else will provide information on their particular industry. I'm working on getting some stuff about the one wheel electric skateboard added to this database by people that I know who are experts in the field of one wheel troubleshooting. And I'm also working on getting more people to add guides like this for really, really difficult problems that again, if you're a new person who's really just used to doing screen replacements, you might not know exactly how to troubleshoot the whole random rebooting thing. And it's something that we are trying to make a little bit easier for people who are getting into the field and also for people who just want to fix their own devices. So I just want to say with this video that A, Repair.Wiki exists. B, if you are a genuine expert in a device class for a device that is very popular and has a high repair demand, I may be interested in paying you for a guide. Please do contact me. And C, just want to again, just thank the people that have put these contributions in. Again, Tim Herman of TCR Circuit, Jesse Cruz of VCC Board Repairs have been really, really amazing at this, as well as AS Repairs has contributed some really great stuff on the GPU side. And I'm really excited to see more and more contributions as we go into the future. Even though I'm not regularly producing the repair videos anymore, it's nice to have a database that is, in my opinion, easier to look through if you want to learn how to do something. So, you know, having something that goes over how to properly clean a motherboard so that you do not wind up doing what a lot of new shops do and ruining them while you're cleaning them. And I think this is really helpful. Having a guide to visual inspection so you can kind of tell immediately without watching me rabble on for an hour how to tell which solder points are good, which are bad, and how to see this stuff when it's kind of hiding. All of this is, these are skills that are very, very useful. And I, the whole concept with this wiki is to make sure that this is always available. It is always free to anybody who wants to learn. They do not have to pay to use it. And uh, again, to get more and more contributions from different people and in different industries who are experts in different things. The idea is that more people should be able to get involved with repair without having to put in that giant investment up front. Somebody puts in a giant investment, figures stuff out, gets paid for providing the information to everybody else. In exchange, they can go to the repair wiki and when they're fixing something that where they have not put in that giant investment, maybe they're really an expert in iPhone, but they don't know anything about Samsung motherboards. They don't know anything about Motorola motherboards. They can come here and somebody who's an expert on that topic will have done the work and posted everything so that it's easier for everybody. If more people in the community have more knowledge, 
that is better for everybody. Something you'll hear so often from opposition lobbyists who are opposed to right to repair is you just can't let anybody work on these products. They lack the education, they lack the training, they lack the knowledge, in spite of the fact that they are refusing to provide it. Even if you become authorized by the manufacturer, you are never going to find a manufacturer these days that gives you this level of detail on how to repair their own devices, that's going over where you run jumper wires and what specifically causes what the, all these different specific component level problems in a motherboard. They don't provide this information or level of training. So what I'd like to do with this nonprofit and with this repair wiki is fill in the gap. The manufacturers claim that we don't have training. They don't provide the training. I will and I'm happy to make it available to everybody for free. So what I'm asking from all of you is if you have information, specialized knowledge on how to fix something that is very, very popular, do let me know. I am willing and open to paying you for it if it is something that is going to be as detailed as this for a device that is extremely popular. And if you have anything that you think you can contribute that is worthwhile, whether it is knowledge, whether it is ability to organize this type of stuff, do let me know. I'll leave a link to an uh, open repair discord down below. We do have people that are working on the interface because, again, the interface for this is... Um, clunky at best right now. These, you know, this this whole way that guides are being done with this spreadsheet kind of view, it, it could be better. We are working on that. We are working on trying to make all these things better. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. Above all, that's what I want to do with this video is thank the people who made these contributions. Thank you to people like Tim Herman at TCR Circuit. Thank you to people like Jesse Cruz at VCC Board Repairs. Thank you to people like AS Repairs who contributed amazing GPU guides. Thank you to Unto who has been instrumental in ensuring that everything actually works as we transitioned over to different servers and are implementing all of the patches and updates and all the stuff that we're working on. You have all been an amazing help with all of this and seeing this come together and seeing people recommend this to people who are looking to do board level troubleshooting, especially people like BlackBerry, has been just amazing. So thank you very much. Uh, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something and I hope that the work that we do going forward even if that work is not me making videos anymore, can still be work that moves towards more people being able to fix things that they otherwise would have given up on by making this information available. Just because I'm no longer the one that you see in the video talking about how to fix something doesn't mean that I'm not moving forward with my work and my mission of making sure that more people have access to the opportunities that I had access to to be able to enter this field and to be able to fix their own stuff. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. And thank you so much to everybody involved for helping make this dream come true.